Hi, I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto. I'm here with producer Miles Shane of Sex, Fame and Murder. What initially got you so interested in this very mysterious and interesting case? Well, that, that's, that's a really good question. Um, I, I guess sort of how we got into the um, sex, fame, and murder, it's, it's actually called the Luca Magnata story, mm -hmm. sex, fame, and murder. Um, and, and how we got interested in it was my wife's actually the director, Naomi Hiltz, and we were at home with our newly born children and uh, sitting on the floor and there was crying going on and diapers and the usual sort of craziness that um, our, our household can be connected with. And we we're sitting there watching TV and all of a sudden Anderson Cooper is on and a clip from a TV show that we'd produced years ago called Cover Guy, which is the search for the top male model in Canada. And in that clip was Luca Magnata. So he's talking about you know, how he can gain weight, and how he can look better, he's got his shirt off, he's talking to the judges, and then over it you hear Anderson Cooper saying, this guy um, uploaded a video to the internet where uh, a Chinese university student, well, he killed him and he, and he uploaded the video to the internet and he's just been found at a internet cafe in Berlin. So we kind of looked at each other like, hold on, that's our show. That's not good PR for our show. Um, that, that, that's not going to make people sign up in the future. Um, so, but, but, but we realized we had this outstanding footage of him that nobody in the world had, and we could use it and make uh, a fantastic documentary about who this guy was and uh, what, what he did. And while you were researching for the do making the documentary, what was there anything in particular that really took you by surprise in terms of Luca Magnata's story? I, oh, there, there were a lot of things that that um, took us by surprise. One of my prime jobs on the show was researcher, so I was sort of, I guess you could call myself the the head researcher. So any inaccuracies or anything that's not um, correct that. That's because of me. I take full responsibility. <laughs> um, just, just kidding. Um, but the, the things that that were amazing, uh, the social media aspect of uh, the case and the show. I mean, Magnata apparently had hundreds, maybe seven hundred different Facebook personalities, and and none of them were um, well crafted or built with like hundreds of friends and tons of stuff. They were just you know, just a little bit in each of them, but they were all connected. And, you know, he picked the names of other serial killers to be um, that personality. So you didn't know where things were coming from. So the police had this web of personalities to try to find him. And, and I guess the other really um, fascinating thing about the trial was, which we learned later from our experts and the people who um, helped us find things, was when he was growing up as a, um, I guess his formative years, maybe when he was six, seven, eight, um, Paul Bernardo, who I'm sure you're familiar with, mm -hmm. um, lived two blocks away from him. Mm -hmm. And all the murders and rapes and all of those horrible things that were happening, you know, Luca probably saw on the news. And we learn later in the documentary from... Um, one of his girlfriends, um, Barbie, that Luca, in fact, was obsessed. He was always looking at websites and footage of Bernardo and Hamulka. Mm -hmm. So w w one might make that connection that he was inspired by Bernardo. Wow. And the, the program is airing on Discovery ID. How are you hoping, uh, in August, how are you hoping that audiences respond to it? Yeah, it's airing on Discovery ID on August um, 27th and then on Canal D in French Canada on the 29th. And if anybody's watching in Australia, it's going to be airing there on September 16th on Foxtel. Mm -hmm. um, don't know what your reach is or your audience is, but you know, well, why not plug it? Well, it's um, online, so you never know. <laughs> um, um, and what was your question again? Because I've. Oh, how are you hoping that audiences respond to it? it 
you know, it, it's interesting what, what we think um, the audience will respond. There's a lot of um, amateur detectives out there who have been, you know, um, analyzing this case online for years. I mean, they're looking into every single possibility. Is Luca, uh, you know, is, is Luca really the murderer? Or is he not? Did someone else do it? And there are theories floating around. We have a Facebook page uh, called Sex, Fame, and Murder. And we've had probably a hundred different people on there talking about different theories. So people are pretty obsessed with this case. It's, you know, Luca's obsessed with himself and people are obsessed with Luca. So it's kind of crazy. So, so I think the um, audience reaction will be mixed. Those who, um, you know, because in the show we never say he's guilty or not, because we don't know because there hasn't been a trial yet. Um, so I think those who believe Luca's innocent are going to be highly disappointed in the film because mm -hmm. all, all we did as um, a production was listen to the experts and listen to the police and the journalists who followed it, and it looks like he's guilty. So if you think he's innocent and you're a big Luca Magnata fan, then you know you're going to be disappointed. If you think he's he's guilty, then you're going to probably think it's um, you know. The greatest thing since sliced bread. Okay. And where's the best place for us? Uh, you mentioned the Facebook page, but yeah. where else can we find out more information on it online? Okay, yeah, that, that's a good question. So there's um, the Sex, Fame, and Murder Facebook page. You just type in Sex, Fame, and Murder, and it will come up, and you'll see all of these um, crazy theories. Um, Maybe not crazy, some of them. I, I, I don't know. Also, um, there's Sex, Fame, and Murder dot com, and that's... Um, our site and it it tells you know uh, where the film's going to be playing in different countries. It gives information on the filmmakers, a little synopsis on the film, um, trailers, and and that type of thing. So that's another um, good resource for people who want to find out more about the picture. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations and best of luck with the film. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats in downtown Toronto.